You guys, I did it. 31 videos in a row, oh my god. Thank you so much for sticking with me if you did and giving me the push I needed to get through this month. All three of you. Anywho, since today is Halloween, I'm going to make a really cool project that I will be giving away as a thank you to everyone who liked and commented on my videos this month. I'm also going to tell you about some of the things that I learned while doing this series, plans for next year, and all of that good stuff. For today's project, I have a frame of 35 millimeter film from Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. This frame has Jessica Tandy in it and came from an actual film print that I recently showed to audiences at my job. I have framed this single frame so that you can place a light behind it and see the frame of film. Now, how many times can I say the word frame? Good Lord. So, if you've commented on any of my videos this month, you are automatically entered to win. I'll be closing the giveaway down in one week and will ship internationally. I'll be posting a video announcing the winner, and that winner will have 48 hours to send me their mailing address, so keep a lookout for that video. So, I learned a lot this month, and uh, with this series... First of all, I learned not to fly by the seat of my pants and commit to a month-long series just three days before the month begins. This was stressful as hell, but I'm also glad I did it. I like to say I kept with it because I didn't want to let any of you guys down, but I mostly did it to prove to myself that I could. Last year I bought a new desktop, new laptop, new camera, and new editing software, and all of the accessories. All for the explicit reason of getting back to making fun and entertaining videos on my channel. So having done this series, I definitely feel like I can do anything I set my mind to now. I also learned that I am a terrible planner. For instance, I knew when I started this that I didn't have 31 spooky stories I could remember and I would have to fill those gaps somehow. I just didn't know how other than the three lists I did of creators slash places to visit. I should have sat down, wrote small summaries, my own stories, and then filled in the spooky Reddit and website stories that way. So it spread my spooky tales out more. Sorry about that. I'd say that I will do better next time, but since I've told all of my stories in the series, there won't be a next time for my own tales. And speaking of next time, I am planning to do this series again next year. Of course, all of the stories will be pulled from the internet, but they will be better organized and come from more places. I'll also probably have better editing chops to add sound effects and possibly animation to them. I've also decided to start prepping almost immediately after this. Writing my list of projects, gathering supplies, and prepping any paper cutting, stamping, etc. That way all I have to do is sit down, film, and get it done, skipping the dreaded artist block I got a few times while doing this series. Needless to say, I have learned so much while doing 31 Days of Horrible Crafts. But probably the biggest thing I've learned is that I can do it. I'll be the first to admit that I am a very lazy person. But between my friends pushing me and pushing myself, I've proven to myself that I do have the skills and drive necessary to get things done. Which has been very uplifting, so thank you all for keeping me pushing. I want to give a special shout out to my friends in the Spooky Astronaut School Club. You guys seriously gave me the biggest kick in the ass, and I hope I haven't disappointed you with my first attempt at doing a series like this. Okay, that's enough blabbering on. Again, keep an eye out for the winter announcement video on November 7th. Thank you again to everyone for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other.